Hey learners, welcome to Tag Graphics. Thank you very much that you people have really liked our previous tutorials on how to work with Adobe Illustrator. Now we are back with our updated detailed course on Adobe Illustrator where we'll be covering not only basics but all the advanced tools and commands available in Illustrator. For that, you have to stay tuned with us. Today we are starting with the shape tools. Uh, time for a quick intro here. Illustrator provides you with six basic shape tools which are rectangle tool, rounded rectangle, ellipse or call it a circle, then polygon, the star tool and the last is fantastic flare. You can get all these tools at this toolbar. Long press this rectangle icon and you will get these tools here. But as you can see all shape tools are not available here right now. This is because you are seeing the basic toolbar here. To see the full menu, come to this edit toolbar option and set it to advanced. Now you have all these tools available here. In this tutorial, we'll discuss about the rectangle tool. Just simply pick this tool, click and drag to draw the rectangle from the point of click. Now if you're seeing these widgets here, it is because bounding box feature is on right now. But we are not going to discuss it here and I personally don't prefer to work with this feature on. So you come to view menu and hide this bounding box or simply hit ctrl shift p. Now this shape has got filled with the currently selected fill color which was green in this case. However fill and stroke color is a separate topic in itself and we'll come up with detailed discussion on it very soon. But for now just focus on this shape too. Cool. Now in Illustrator, Shift key comes really handy when you want to control the proportions of your drawing. Now while drawing rectangle, keep Shift key pressed and Illustrator will proportion the values equally and you'll end up drawing a perfect square. Let me just show you this. Now I have pressed the Shift key and see. Press Alt key while drawing and you can draw a center outward rectangle. Means rectangle will be drawn taking our point of click as center. Pressing Shift and Alt keys together will make a perfect square from center. And you can drag the shape and change its location on the go by pressing space bar while drawing. Now you can also dial in specific values for your rectangle. For this, simply click once on the artboard, dialog box appears, type in the width and the height values and you have this. Now you've got a button here which is called constraint button. We use it to constrain the proportion of height and width values. For example, say we want an equally proportioned rectangle. To have that equal proportion, type equal values for both the fields here. Let's put 1 and 1. Press this button. And now the proportion of these values is fixed to 1 is to 1. Now if I enter 100 for width, height also comes at 100. Now say I want to make a rectangle whose width should be 3 times bigger than the height. So release this constraint button, type in 3 in width column and 1 in height column and press this constraint button. Now the ratio is fixed to 3 is to 1. Now see, as I type 100 in this height column, the width automatically gets adjusted to 300. Remember I told you to press the alt key to draw a center outward rectangle? You can draw the same with the dialog box too. For this, you have to press alt key before clicking on the artboard. Remember that you have to keep it pressed while you click on the artboard. Put in the values and rectangle will be drawn taking your point of click as center. And that's it. This was all about the rectangle tool. In the next lesson, we'll be discussing the rounded rectangle tool. Till then, keep practicing and post your queries if any. Remember, we are always there to help you out. Thanks for watching Night Graphics. Stay well.